government continues to spearhead various proactive strategies towards the reduction of crime throughout the country. Guyana recorded a 19% reduction in serious crimes in 2022 when compared to 2021. The government recognizes that crime rate can be reduced in various communities by providing competency-based training programs, which will lead to sustainable economic development and employment. As such, the Ministry of Labor's Board of Industrial Training signed two memoranda of understanding with Generation Next and the Shabir Lur Rashad Islamic Training Center on Wednesday. These are the things, especially the ministry, the government, we are looking how we can change um, the lives of youngsters, as our other brothers had mentioned. Um, crime is an, uh, you know, it's an alarming rate, and if we can work together, um, then this is going to be something that is going to have a, a lasting impact in, these, in the lives of many. The level of criminality affecting our young people, especially in, in it's all over the country, but it's concentrated in our communities. Generation X, therefore, um, is looking forward to this collaboration because the end result is to impact those young men and women in the street who we can deliver from these dangerous times in which they live. What we are attempting to do is trying to ensure communities are safe and to save people, uh, you know, from tragedies that can befall them. The Shabilu Rashad Islamic Training Center offers young Muslims a comprehensive educational and residential environment while supporting community development. Meanwhile, Generation Next provides training, leisure, and support programs for youths. BIT provides over 80 skill training courses free of cost throughout the country. These programs have not only upskilled over 9,000 Guyanese, but have paved the way for thousands to be financially stable.